right? There's a reason sure. it didn't make it there, right? If right. that's our roadmap to life, if you're a Christian and you believe that's your roadmap while being in this world, God wouldn't have omitted important things. <laughs> no, no, he would definitely have included them. Right. Uh, it wasn't a mistake. You know, no. people just didn't get bored putting everything together. If God wanted it in there, it would have been in there. Right. Yeah. They, they The staples didn't run out. So, uh... no. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as that whole remote viewing, you know, what's got me scared? What if I was in the shower? Right. You know, I hadn't thought you about know, that. You know, there are situations <laughs> where I don't want anybody remoting in. No, please don't. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, oh. she's in the shower and no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would Draw not that be curtain it. closed tightly. No. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. And uh, I'm going to tell my wife a little bit. She, <laughs> she she allows no computers, no laptops, no nothing like that when she's in the bath. Right. And, um, and in fact, I don't even care I'm in the bedroom because we have an open uh, floor plan. The, the master bath is just open. There's no doors. And um, she's just terribly, terribly afraid. That you know, there's going to be an accident. Right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facebook Live. No. <laughs> right. Because um, I'm yeah, always calling someone accidentally. Yeah. Yeah. I I did a Facebook call to somebody the other day and had <laughs> no idea who it was, and <laughs> they were talking about shrimp. Not like, what. And uh, who is this? And then. The lady told me who she was. She says, well, who is this? And I said, I bet you don't know me, but you're friends on Facebook with me. <laughs> and uh, but, but we had a big laugh about it. But, uh, uh, yeah, there's so many uh, mistakes that happened, you know, that way. And, uh, yeah, my wife, she she's in the chat room. She says, I am hearing you. So, uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't, I learned my lesson a long time ago. You know, you, you don't take things like that in the, in the, in the bathroom with her whatsoever. No. Um, so, uh, but you know, that, that was a good idea that Rick had about, um, him coming on the show and doing some readings mm -hmm. and, um, you know, that uh, I'm interested in how all that works. Right. And, you know, being able to be a part of, you know, being right there and listening, hey, this is how this, 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 this is how this works. And wow, you know, this really, you know, the interaction with the people and, you know, he gets it right and stuff like that. That's probably going to, I'm probably going to fall out of my chair. <laughs> right. Know, like, and if he ever was able to read <clears throat> me, I would be falling out of mine because no one. <laughs> No one ever has been able to, ever. Well, we're definitely going to have to get this put together because I want to be there whenever he does that. And, yeah, uh, and the fact of see what spirits are with you. I went to Salem, Massachusetts once when my highlight of my, you know, medium days and everything and had that aura photography done. Hmm? The lady was calling people back there and she comes out with this picture and she says to me, you have at least 10 spirits in your aura. And I'm like, what? And you could see the outline <laughs> of all these spirits. She's like, we've never seen anything like this. Usually maybe there's one, maybe two, but never like this. What do you do? And I'm like, well, I am a medium. She goes, well, that explains that. But there was a whole entourage. I had my own paparazzi following me. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if they're still there because you know I don't do that anymore but you know I still I still have things that I say to people um, you know still things come to me like a friend of mine who lost her daughter one specific day I, I had an image of her daughter in my head and a yellow rose and you know so I reached out to my friend and I said hey I was just 
thinking about you and you know I had this image of your daughter with this yellow rose and she goes I had a dream she brought me a bouquet of yellow roses last night and it was some kind of anniversary of I don't know if the day she died or something significant was that day and I reached out to her so I hadn't talked to her in like six seven months wow. so, so it was yeah and I'm like and somebody's getting surgery and she's like I don't know who and I'm like now somebody's getting surgery she calls me an hour later her father is having surgery next week and I'm like okay that's all I gotta wow. say I got nothing more <laughs> and the pregnancy thing yeah, that that amazes me, and and you know, just please uh, ignore it if you ever got around my daughters or anything like that. All right. need... I, I just won't let you know. <laughs> yeah, we we don't need any more grandkids. I mean, I love all sixteen that we have, and that's a bunch of them. <laughs> yes, that's a bunch of them, especially when they all come at once. Yeah, and they and they bring their parents. Oh, wow. Oh. You can't have that happening. No, six <laughs> kids and sixteen grandchildren. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. No wonder I'm tired. No wonder. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Just kind of keep that information to yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Too late now. No. <laughs> right. Right. Um, hey, well, Teresa you- said they're fixed. So, uh, oh, well, okay, they're fixed. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. You know, it used to be fish dreams. I never used to just have an instant knowing by looking at someone. I used to have dreams of the person and fish would be in it, either swimming around or someone caught a fish or, you know, and I used to go to work going, I had a fish dream and everyone would scatter because I was 99 <laughs> point five percent accurate with these fish streams you know and if it wasn't the woman in it it would be the husband (laughs) oh wow like i had a dream and they're like not a fish one and i'm like no 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 (laughs) but now i don't need to dream about fish i just need to look at the person oh wow i don't know if that's progressed or (laughs) it just changed course or I just don't remember my dreams because I hardly ever sleep, so that could be it. <laughs> Here lately, I've been short on my sleep, too. But, uh, yeah. But, of course, I don't dream of fish um, okay. unless, I'm eat- unless I'm eating it and uh, <laughs> um, or catching them. But uh, here lately, I haven't dreamed of anything, I don't think. I've been so tired. But, um, yeah, I... I, I <laughs> I'm I'm not one that has any type of gift like that. Uh, I don't have a psychic bone in my body, and uh, um, well, maybe uh, you, you know, do. You just haven't gotten in touch with that part yet. <laughs> um, well, I hope I don't. Um, <laughs> I know Teresa does. Yes, she does, and uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes it gets scary with her too. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it does. Yeah, my word, what is that? But uh, especially on an investigation, yeah, she'll come up to me and just kind of tug on my shirt. I'll lean down. She'll whisper something in my ear, and everybody will see my eyes get real big. <laughs> and it won't be long before that occurs, and I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, radar. And, yes, and... I've actually uh, brought people out of an investigation. It was a private residence. I brought them out because she told me to. Right. And I, I got to where I listened to her quite a bit. Well, that's good. I mean, and, there's uh, been places where I was sent. I was always sent in first, and I'm the idiot that would go in by myself. You know, I, mean, mm-hmm. I would either be like, uh, we got to go. <laughs> so, I guess <laughs> right. That. And everyone learned to listen to me. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I learned my lesson. You know, um, there was a couple on Trista. Um, if she said, uh, I think we might need to step out or something like that. Yeah, I would I would say, OK, everybody out. Let's go. Let's go. And um, 
she was pretty spot on with 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 her gift as well and uh but um i just couldn't deal with having a gift like that i don't think every day i mean you know i i couldn't walk around this world knowing that person's problem no, or can't. seeing the the bad things that that person is going through you know i I love the Lord, but I hope he doesn't trust me that much to put something like that on me. Yeah, it gets kind of yucky sometimes. You know, being an empath is tough because I pick up people's pain. And, you know, I have fibro. I have enough pain as it is. But sometimes it'll be like, okay, this isn't mine. <laughs> Where did this come from? You know, right. get get emotional or upset or, you know, it's somebody else's feelings. That's why I, I still don't do well in crowds. Yeah, if if I had that, you know, I would probably lock myself away in the house because uh, <laughs> I couldn't go around dealing with all the world's problems. Um, Teresa posted something in the chat room. She said one lady asked for the three of us ladies on the team to be in the same room using our. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, no. It, you, you know what? I expected thunder and lightning. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> The uh, we had not had any type of uh, activity. The K twos never went off or nothing. I actually left the K two in the room, and we were watching it on on video. And when the all three of them went in there, um, after about five minutes, the K two started going off, and then the mail meter went off. And I'm like, okay, you know that something's got to be different you know so i go check it check the devices and i come back and, and they were just like i put them and when the ladies left the room the k2s quit going on hmm. so um they were putting off an energy or attracting an energy or something but uh got some good evps out of that but um i forgot which one it was but one of the ladies got mad and I think it was uh, something in the room that they got mad at. But I, uh, <clears throat> I'm a good investigator. I uh, honestly try to uh, disprove everything that goes on. Um, there's got to be a scientific reason for that, um, a physical reason for that. And, you know, sometimes we find it and sometimes we don't. But... Uh, I'm 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 not one to immediately say that little noise around the corner was a was a ghost or something like that. Right. Um, so that's just uh, part of my investigations and stuff that I do. But as far as having a gift and stuff, I haven't run into it yet. So uh, you know, knock on wood, because uh, I don't know that I can handle it like you guys do. And maybe that's how God gives it. There's the ones that can handle it. Right. And, and you know, he maybe, and thank God, he, he spared me from that. I, I just, I've read about people. And I see you guys and, and my wife and stuff like that. And, and sometimes my wife is depressed and she can't, ex can't explain why. Um, and then, you know, she ex tells me things she feels and stuff. And it's got to be her gift that, uh, you know, she's either come in contact with someone or um, someone's trying to come through that is having an issue, a pain, or, or is completely depressed or, or whatever the case may be. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I just couldn't walk around that way. Yeah, so maybe yeah. I... Being Sorry. an empath is really hard, and usually the gift comes with being an empath, where you pick up people's feelings, pains, everything else. That's right. a tough part about it, you know. I could have been spared that. <laughs> I have my own so issues. Do Do you pick up what's wrong with them as well, or is it just their 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 feeling, their their venture of themselves at that point? Um, I usually can pinpoint if it's like a physical pain where uh, they need healing 
I can tell you exactly where and most likely what it is.